So in a previous video, we showed you how to add a map in your website. And now we're going to do something like this. We're going to add traffic flow and traffic events to the same map that you have created. And when we speak about traffic, we meant two things. First, the traffic incidents, which tell us what has happened on the road. And the traffic flow, which is how is the traffic actually moving on the road right now. The traffic incident API will give us uh, things that happens like accidents, if there is fog on the road, if there is a jam, or there are road closed or lane closed, uh, if there is some wind or flooding, etc. Visually, and in this case, using the web SDK, you have two options. Add the traffic flow tiles or adding the traffic incidence tiles. Both are uh, considered layers in the map. Programmatically, you can use the Traffic Incident Details API. It will give you the types of events that I mentioned before by passing a zoom level in a bounding box. Now let's go back to our code. In our previous video, we added a map, and in this time, we're going to add a new traffic flow layer. This is the traffic flow configuration. What it tells you is what kind of a style do you want to use in this layer. We have three different styles, all represented in arrows in different colors from green up to red burgundy. The absolute style reflects the absolute speed on the road. Relative is relative to free flow, especially to highlight areas of congestions or relative delay these are relative speeds that are different from the ones from the free flow. So that means only the highlights are the areas of congestion. But uh, returning to our code, um, we added a map last time in our previous video. It's centered on New Delhi. And at the end we see when the map is loaded, then we can add a layer, in this case the traffic flow here. And this is how it looks like. For this example, we selected the style relative delay, which it compares the current flow between other automobiles in the road, and you can see the comparison between how, how slow they go. New Delhi is quite traffic intensive this time of the morning. Traffic flow is fine. What I want to see is what's going on on the road, the traffic incidents. So we're going to add a new layer called traffic incidents details. And this is the configuration that we are going to use. And note, note here that we have also to select what kind of a style do you want to present this um, layer. We can have one of the three styles, one, two, or three. And this time we have moved the map to Madrid. As you can see, now we see some traffic jams. Oh, there's a road that is closed, maybe constructions. You see, we don't know yet what it is because we haven't got the incident details of it. We are visualizing what's going on on the road. Before adding the traffic incidents, uh, I'd like to show you the other style. This one, uh, solid colors and solid lines can add better visibility. For example, this is a, a grayscale map. Or the road close is still visible here. When I was preparing this video, I noticed that my demo, I was using an older version of the SDK, which then reminded me to remind you to use always that last release version on our developer portal. And now coming back to our traffic incident situation, we need to include a style sheet containing all the icons for the traffic incidents that we can present using TomTom's APIs. Now, remember that traffic incident config we used before? For displaying the traffic incident icons, we just need to add a new section in the configuration. Incident details, and I selected the style type S2. Check our documentation for more options. And voila, 
This time we have moved the map to Mexico City and as you can see we have the new style for the new released SDK. You can see uh, traffic jumps in these locations and icons appearing and when you click on those icons you get information about the traffic incident itself. The icon also adjusts itself depending on what zoom level you are automatically and let's see if I, we can find more traffic incidents happening. For example, this is a road closed. I hope these steps will help you to add traffic information to your maps from now on. Take a look at the link on the descriptions where you can see more examples of adding traffic to your maps. Thank you for watching and happy mapping.